me and this show, we have a love-hate relationship. And that's because I lost, and I hate to use the word brother because it's so fun to use these days. Right. But um, I lost a dude that I knew since he was seven years old and we lived in the same building. You know what I'm saying? That right. we rode in huffy bikes together and all of that, you know? Yeah. So that would definitely be the worst thing. R.I.P. to my nigga Yizzle, man. Yeah, rest in peace. Uh, where, where, where'd you find the strength to keep going with the show, knowing that the popularity of it caused you to lose your friend? I mean, I, bro, I'm a different type of animal. I want to tell that story, bro. Can no, I go, go, go. R.I.P. Y'all, but we was filming. He gets a call. This, it was like snowing, blizzard. I think it's like the last scene. He's like, you see, you could tell he's going through it. So we all like, what's up? He's like, damn, I just heard my mom pass. So I got to run to the hospital. His mom was in the hospital. So he's like, all right, cool. So we like, Fritz is like, all right, everybody pack up. We putting the cameras in. An hour and a half later, he come back like, yo, what y'all doing? He's like, you said your mom? He's like, oh yeah, I did that. We're going to handle that tomorrow. I spoke to the fan, but we got to finish this because it got to drop Tuesday. It was like Sunday night. was like late. Mm. And I'm looking at him like, Mm. We said, like, we're like, nah, you could you could take the top, you know what I mean? We'll tell them a week, postpone. He's like, no, we gotta finish this and I'm gonna handle that. And that at that moment is when I was like, oh, yeah, this man is a different Serious. And it's not no love lost to the moms, no love lost to y'all, but right. nothing's nah, taking him off. And that's when I was like, nah, I gotta work harder. Like, yeah. then he's gonna go home and edit this and drop it on Tuesday. Right. You feel me? So like that that gave me hundred percent respect. RP to his mom, but that was that was different. I don't yeah, think it, it takes a special kind of dedication to reach uh, a great level of success. Uh, some people would use certain things as a hindrance or, or, or make it seem as though this is what what's holding me back. Where other people would be like, you know what, that's going on, but I know that this person want me to do this. Yes. So I'm going to keep doing this and I'm going to better everybody around me. Yeah. It's a different type of mindset. Yeah, I mean... Mm -hmm. Bro, I'm, I'm also, as much as I, I don't believe it, I'm traumatized from my upbringing. Like, I'm desensitized from death and all that. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll be honest with you. I've seen so much death in my life that I, I rationalize everything. So when my mom's passed, the way that I looked at it was, I'm 38 years old. I had my mother till I'm 38. How many people lost their mother at 15? How many people lost their mother at five? How many people lost their mother at birth? What am I feeling the way about? I should be looking at the sky and telling God, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the time. You understand what right. I'm saying? Like, my, my daughter lost her mother at 13. Her, her little brother lost, her, lost his mother at five. My, my, my daughter's mother died while giving childbirth. Her newborn daughter lost her mother at birth. Will never have any indication. I got memories in my mom's. What the fuck am I crying about? Mm. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, nah, nigga, deal with it. And keep it moving. It is what it is. Like, and, and I hate to say it, but, bro, this is the hand that we are dealt. Right. We came into this world with balls. This is the rent that we pay. Mm. Point blank, period. Be mm. a man. And, 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 I, and I, that's why I hate when these days where people talk about men need to be more emotional. No, they don't. God nah. designed us the way that we are for a reason. We cannot deal with emotions. You want to see what emotional men do? Watch the ID channel. Emotional men kill women. Emotional right. men shoot up fucking jobs. They, that's what emotional men do. Right. Yeah. You that's understand what, what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro. That's a fact. It yeah. is what it is. I agree with Was that. Was the writing create, um, therapeutic for you? Is what? Therapeutic for you. Was your writing therapeutic? Oh, definitely. This is, yo, bro, there's not a thing that I write that doesn't come from an experience of mine. Right. Um, and I think that's what allows me to be such. <sighs> I sound arrogant so when I say such a good writer. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but this is why this is what allows me to be pretty good at what I do. Right. It's just the fact that everything is based off of experience. And the reason being is I don't ever want to write about nothing that I know nothing about. And it's simple. I feel like I'm misleading people if I'm doing that. That's what you talk about all the time, man. It's your raps. So I'll be telling people in the studio, hey, man, don't lie about that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the truth about this. Yeah, yeah. Highlight yourself. You'll feel so good bad. about it later. Yeah. So when I sit back and I play a song, even if it, it, might, it might hurt the people I'm talking about. But, <laughs> yeah. but you know what I'm saying? When I know that, like, yo, this is all fact. Yeah. This is all a piece of me that's locked right now in this time. 
This record could go out, people could listen to it. But that's a piece of me that's gonna resonate forever. Amen. And it's real. My truth could never be wrong. You know, you took the song from me. Yeah, my I, and I, yo, bro. And I can't tell you how many times I listen to that shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's simply because, like, bro, I, there's an energy that comes from anything that's true. And right. I, I, I can feel, I can feel it every time, every time I listen to it, man. You know, and I, and if you want me to be honest with you, I think that's why money and violence resonated. I don't think it had anything to do with the violence. I think that when people, yo, bro, they felt it. And it's like, how does this show that looks like it was shot on a cell phone, how is it that I can emotionally connect to this so much? Right. And it's because, you know, and I hate to sound like a cliche, but this was created with love. You say that twice, Diddy's gonna pop up out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I got a deal for you niggas. <laughs> I got a question for you, Mo. Um, one of the prominent, prominent characters you had on the show was Miz, mm -hmm. and I don't see him here now. So, like, what, what happened? Oh man! <laughs> and and y'all getting the exclusive because you know I've never talked. I've never talked talk about, about this. <laughs> I've never talked about this. Um, first and foremost, first and foremost, I want to say that um, Miz was my little brother, bro. Yeah, I love that nigga probably more than I love myself. You understand what I mean? Um, me and Miz had a relationship way before Money and Violence, right? Like Miz was one of the dudes that I was out there in the streets doing whatever I was doing with. Um, but it's just so crazy. You, you look at the amount of money that you made with a man and there's never been issues. And then you realize that attention and fame and also other people, you know, coming into the equation can destroy all of that. Right. The situation with Miz occurred and all I'm going to say is this is my perspective right they always right. say in every story there's two sides three sides three, three sides, sides. there's three sides. my side truth his side and the truth and then there's the truth right. Right. my side is this when all the attention came you know he started getting a little full of himself which i was all right with um because i felt he deserved it like yo you know be proud I, of yourself. you you did your thing yeah you be proud of yourself you right. should be but then um the truth is that uh, the young lady he was dealing with, Nunu Nels, she came along. And I always say, like, people ask me, yo, am I mad at Nunu? I'm like, I'm not mad at Nunu. Nunu don't owe me nothing. Nunu ain't know me. You yeah. understand where I'm coming from? Right. She came through for her own benefit. <laughs> and as of what I believe, she got in his head. This Turn smack rapper, only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard, making fiends sleep earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you.